Hi everybody, so in my last video I showed you how I've upgraded my old laptop with a new motherboard, CPU, RAM and as well with an external GPU thanks to the EXP GDC. And to be honest it was a pain to install the external graphics card with this module even if my laptop model is listed as compatible on the EXP GDC website. In this video I'll show you what I did to install my graphics card on the Lenovo G500 laptop. Please note that this video is valid only for this laptop model and you might break your laptop if you follow the wrong steps. I know this because I've bricked my motherboard once and by the way I'll also show you how to fix a bricked laptop in one of my next videos so subscribe for that. First of all, you need to unlock the advanced options in the BIOS. In order to do this, you need to flash a custom BIOS file. You can get one by going to the BIOS modes forum, creating an account and talking to one of the experts they have there. They reply quickly and most likely you will get a private message from one of them with a software tool asking to do a BIOS dump. After you install the tool and you follow the expert's instructions, you will generate a BIOS file which you have to share with the expert. After some time he will modify it and get back to you with the unlocked BIOS file which you have to flash on your laptop. He will provide instructions on how to do that. What you will need is an USB memory stick of at least 1GB and it has to be formatted in FAT or FAT32. Please note that the BIOS file you receive is for your laptop only and if you do it on another motherboard you will break that motherboard. Then you have to boot from that USB stick. Each laptop has a different way of doing that. For this Lenovo you have to press the small button next to the power button and then select the boot menu and then the USB stick. After you boot from the USB stick you will be prompted with a black screen with some lines of code. You have to type the command flash.bat and hit enter. As long as you don't turn off the laptop or disconnect the power everything should be ok. After the flash is finished, boot back into the BIOS and you'll see you have a plethora of new menus and options. Whatever you do, don't disable your integrated GPU. This will break the laptop. I know because I did it. From here you can activate the hot swap function of the PCIe slot. Then you save the changes. Now it's the tricky part. Whatever settings I tried and no matter what graphics card I've used, I couldn't make the laptop boot with the GDP module connected. In order to make it work, I have to boot without the module connected, put the computer to sleep, connect the module with the graphics card and then wake up the laptop again. Which is not a big deal because even Alienware makes you restart the laptops when you connect or disconnect the external GPU. After you wake up your laptop, the graphics card should appear in Device Manager and then you can install the latest drivers from Nvidia and enjoy your games. This is uh, unless you have a GTX 10 series card which requires additional steps such as the installation of an older version of the driver. All the details about this are very well documented on the website egpu.io in their forums and I will advise you to look there for your particular graphics card. I've added links to relevant articles in the description below regarding how to fix the error 43 and also the error 12, which by the way I had both. Error 12 was the hardest to me to fix but the article on the egpu.io forums helped me how, how to fix it. I will link them in the description below.